Hey, my gators, I'm sure you're here because you want to know how to make this fluffy, soft sandwich bread. You are in the right place because I'm going to take you through it. It's not just a regular cooking video. You're just kind of like in the kitchen with me, watching me as I talk to you and tell you how to make it. Enjoy. All right, my gators, it is now 8, 19. I've been editing and now it's time to make some bread. I got my apron on, let's get busy. All right, so now I'm getting ready to get all the things out, guys. I have two nails on this hand <laughs> and two nails on this hand. They are not trying to come off. They've been on like almost three weeks. So basically what I'm doing is letting you cook with me and not just doing sped through videos because this is what I love to do. So I'm getting ready to make my fluffy white sandwich bread and I know I've been talking about it so you, you should have already got the cinnamon rolls. So if you taste them you already know that this bread is going to be amazing. So what we're going to do is get into it. I'm going to try not to talk much in the video. Sped it up and I might do voiceover just put my words in it like I do with other videos. I'm trying to figure this out. Tell me what you like. Do you like to hear me talking? Do you like the words? Do you like me to play music? Talk to me. I'm trying to get it right for you guys because this is what I do and I'm going to share what I like to do. So let's get into it. I'm going to I'm gonna stop talking and let's just get into making this bread. First, you're going to start off by melting your one quarter cup of butter and I'm using country crock avocado plant-based butter once it fully melts you're going to move it from the stove and add your one and a half cup of milk of your choice i'm using my homemade almond milk i do have a video on how to make that and then you're going to add your quarter cup of sugar i'm using raw sugar cane sugar and once the actual sugar dissolves then that's when you go to the next step. And All right, now it is time to add, since the sugar is melting, you see it's dissolving. Now it's time to add your two and a quarter teaspoon of active dry yeast. I love this one, Fleshman's. It's really good and it's a brand that a lot of people like to use because it usually makes your dough rise very well and it keeps your pastries and your treats very fluffy. I get this from Walmart. Now at this time, you are going to allow the yeast to be mixed very well. I like to stir it and then you're going to see I'm going to start to whisk it very vigorously. And then after that, it has to sit for about, I'll say, eight minutes or until it looks like what I'm going to show you next. what you want that means that yeast is proofing and working really good and your bread is going to be amazing so now you're going to add your eggs and the salt first and then your eggs and mix it very well until it is smooth and see guys we are almost done with the mixing and incorporating all the ingredients once you have done that you're going to now add four cups of flour you can use flour of your choice this is just a regular all-purpose flour that i get from sam's club as you know i'm not using the gray spoon anymore i'm now using a bread which is a dough whisk and this helps to stir a lot better and then once it starts getting a little bit tougher to stir you're going to see me transfer over to the wooden spoon and then we're going to go to the next step My gators, if ever listening to someone bake and they say you want your dough to look shaggy, this is what shaggy dough looks like. And it's okay because we are getting ready to knead this dough and get it prepared for the first rising. There's going to be two risings for this bread. Yes, it takes some time and it takes some effort. So you have to love cooking and wanting to make this for your family. You want to make sure you flour that surface like you see me doing right now. And then we're going to get ready to knead the dough. So when you knead, you pull back towards you and push forward and you continue doing that as you flip the dough over from the front 
folding it to the back and that is what I'm doing but I got a little sped up because you want to do this for about five to eight minutes because you want it to get nice and smooth and then we're gonna go to the next step so when you feel that dough is nice and smooth you're gonna start creating a nice ball which you see me doing right now and that is what you're going to place inside a buttered bowl guys butter it really well because you'll see that once it rises i forgot to butter my cling wrap and i forgot to butter the top of the bowl so you'll see what happens if you don't so make sure you're buttering your bowl all right now you're going to let it rise for two hours or until it literally doubles in size and then you go to the next step so why that bread is over here right there i wanted to share with you guys this. now this is a bread that i make that is like I cut it really really thin and I let it guys I could not think of it it's called ciabatta or like a sourdough bread and it's usually used in bruschetta so look that up and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about and you're like oh yeah I know what you're talking about I had it before get like crispy and crunchy and I put like um like if I'm having people over to be like for hors d'oeuvres I can put tuna egg salad or like a garlic herb it's a real dense bread I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about hold on so this is what I normally do. It's still kind of hot. So I cut it, excuse my nails y'all. I cut it really thin. I, the bread is slipping my brain right now, but y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. This is really hot. Oh my gosh, this is really hot. But I cut it really thin and I bag it up. And this, not baguettes, what is that? Is that the word? You know what I'm talking about. It's like really thin bread. It's still hot. And then I let them cool. And then I'll bag them up. You can put salt, herbs, cream cheese. You could do all that good stuff with this bread. And it's a great hors d'oeuvre. If this is something you're interested in, homemade bread. I, I'm going to put the word on the screen because it's, it's like slipping my brain right now. But it's so good. Sometimes we just eat it with butter too. Ooh. Could y'all see that steam coming from it? Like this is very hot. Like very hot. I don't know if y'all can see the steam. Like it is so hot. <laughs> okay, let me finish cutting this up. I just want to throw this in there. I make so many different types of bread. I love baking. I love just being in the kitchen. Old school stuff. I love it, love it, love it. So let me continue cutting this up. And whew, Jesus, I need my gloves. I'll be back. I can see where I didn't roll it tight enough on the end in the air. <laughs> now I'm about to put it on here so it can cool. This is just the extra in the video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it in the bread video or do it as an extra. Most people don't eat this or some people don't know what it is. So I didn't want to make a video. Um, but then again, I don't know, maybe in the future. But I know bread is important because a lot of us have families and we have bread. And to know what's in your bread and what you're giving your family is always a plus. So I told you I'm a hardcore homemaker and in the kitchen type of person so i will share as much as i can to help you save your coins and give your family that good homemade stuff that you don't have to worry about all those preservatives so yep i'm gonna let that cool that's the other set of them i'm gonna let them cool all right the bread is ready for its next rising and we are about to roll this out and put it in our bread pans I left that there because I knew I'm going to need it for rolling this out for the bread pans. This is when I knew I forgot to put enough oil on the top of the bread before I put it in the bowl and it started to stick to the bowl as well but it's all good. It, it comes right off. It's just a little, you know, a little work but not as much and uh, we proceed. So basically you're doing the same thing, pushing out and pulling back and folding back towards you and that's how you need. And then we're going to be ready to put this in the pan so that they can rise for a second time. This time it's going to be for one hour.
all right guys so after this rise what you're getting ready to see right now they have risen so now it is time to put them in the oven and you're going to place them in the oven at 350 and you're going to wait for about 25 to 30 minutes now you can put butter now which i should have and i normally do i was doing so much this day but it's it's okay you can still put the butter after i feel like the butter makes it sink after because it's so soft but yeah you put it in the oven until it's golden like this and then i just baste it with butter watch how it sinks with the butter i was rushing and i should have waited for them to cool a little bit and i didn't so that butter and that heat just made it sink a little bit watch how they look so i hope you guys enjoyed this video that is basically it that is how you make sandwich bread and i'm getting ready to show you how fluffy it is by cutting it open i hope you enjoy talk to me in the comments i do talk back let me know if you make it how it came out for you and how do you like the way that i did this video do you want more talking less talking words do you like the combination of both talk to me i do talk back and i will see you guys later gators enjoy the rest of the video